So with that said, um, the anger that McMahon had towards Rollins was later diverted to Montez Ford over an incident that happened in the dark match. Have you seen this at all? I haven't seen this, but what was funny reading your notes, I do remember seeing the sign in the crowd, though. But I haven't okay. seen any of this. I didn't know this was, like, leaked somewhere. Uh, yeah, I well, I got it from someone, and I can send it to you afterwards. Sure. So, um, he was his anger was diverted towards Montez Ford. Now, I've been categorically told by people that had Bianca Belair not been with him and been a heavily pushed talent in the company, a heavily pushed black talent in the company over the last year, Ford would have 100% been fired immediately when he walked through the back. That's how pissed McMahon was. And the incident is this. Um, there was a fan in the crowd who was holding a sign saying, Montez is doo-doo. Yeah. So when Montez saw that, he acknowledged it. It was banterous at first, I, I would say. I would that, probably guess so, yeah. yeah. Um, and it was at this point the fans started to antagonize Ford and shouted, fight me. Now, that's that's get- insane, though. I mean, and that's... Shouting it, and he's shouting it over and over again. I'm going to... I'm just going to... How is he it. able to be in the crowd and not have the crowd beat the out of him? Are you standing... Well, I mean, you tell me there's no black guys in the audience around him that would just straight clock him? Well, it doesn't look like any around. So I'm That's just gonna, insane. So here you can get to that bit pretty early on uh, in, in this video, which I dropped to you now. Okay. Um, so it links to, it actually links to the guy. Uh, I think that links to the guy who actually caused it all. I think really? He's, he's the one posting this. Okay. I got it. You can get, you can get to that part early on. I'll keep quiet. And, yeah. I'm, I'm watching. Okay. Yeah. They're all pointing and, Big E's with him. They're all pointing at the guy. See, it's it's funny because... Try and listen specifically for that. Oh, yeah, we're going to hear it. Okay. I think you already said it. I think I heard it at the beginning. In the beginning, I gotta go back to the beginning of it. Okay, this Oh yeah. Yep. Right. Now do. All right. So we start okay. talking about it. Right. Yeah, and you know now. Now here's an interesting thing because when you said he was blasting the big N word right out here, now. He doesn't sound like he's a white guy with the hard R at the end. He sounds like he's very street saying it, you know, like they would back and forth. So I'm like, first of all, I'm wondering what the guy is. That he's That's he is a white guy. Say, see, you can't. You're not allowed. I'm sorry. Okay, so <laughs> it's not that, allowed. that develops further, which you'll see. I t- I'll explain what happens further. Sure. Um, so this is happening during a seven versus seven heel versus faces dark match where everybody's out there. Uh, Ford gets rattled by the comments and he's pacing around the ring and he's telling all the baby faces on his side what's happened, right? Yeah. This is where Vince obviously gets annoyed by everything that happens. He's pacing around telling the faces what happened. He then begins to tell the guy, come and jump the rail. Mm-hmm. He starts telling the guy to come and jump the rail. He then begins to break character and um, because people are constantly asking what he's doing. So he breaks character and he tells the heels, the heels are now with Montez Falls. And he's explaining to Sami Zayn and these guys what's going on. And they're all pointing. Now Montez and all the heels have all broken character and they're telling the guy and they're telling security to let the guy come and jump over with the intention, obviously, to pound him out. So this is what would have pissed Vince off on any given night. Someone would have got done for this. But you're coming off the Rollins incident where he's already pulling and he's ready to to, to fire Montez Ford. So again, yeah. for the second time in his night, the guy came back and was walked to his wife and and, and taken away from Vince. And this time there was no you know, there was no talk where they actually 
spoke like between Rollins and Vince. Here it was a case of go to your wife and get the hell out of here. Vince <laughs> pissed. Everybody's being taken to their wives in the back. The yeah, better star. Yeah. But um, but yeah, this, this this is what it was. And this is actually what he did. So you'll see that now. If you watch the rest of it, you'll see it complete. He's talking to the hills. He's point. He's tapping everybody. Everybody's going, "What's up? What's up?" Oh, and, then, and then the baby. Then then the face. The the baby. The the heels are like. Sorry, he's going to the baby faces. I think I might have said heels. He's going to the baby faces. Then the heels are like wondering what's going on. Is there an issue? And he goes over to over to them. And then they're all like now saying, "Come over, come over." No one's concentrating on the match at all. See now, I would get where Montez would have, you know, the advantage to say. This white guy is just screaming the N word at me in the crowd. You don't expect me to have a reaction. And Vince should kind of go, oh, yeah, yeah. But the way it sounded was almost more of a heckle and a, like it wasn't the racist N being blasted. It was the more, because you see the stupid moron kids, what up, you know, with their buddies and they're all white. You go, what the hell? Oh, we just killed the bleep count on this. Lot. I'll tell him, I'll tell him all the bleeps are at the. Yeah. Well, but we're reporting a story. It's not like we're yelling the N word here. So, but. That that's the way it's coming up where, like I told you, I couldn't tell he was a white guy. <laughs> he's out. I'm like, maybe he's a Spanish guy. I don't know what he is, you know? And then, cause like, okay, well, Puerto Rican, you'll get a pass to be able to say that. Like they allow this. And so there's all the rules, you know, but white guy, you're not allowed to say it. You're and Hey, whatever. You're not allowed to say it. That's, that's the rules of the world. So for him to be yelling it though, there's the different levels. Oh, wait, he's a mixed, he's I get a, it. He's a mixed race guy. Oh, okay. All he's right. So, oh, right. He's mixed race. So you're poor. He's a mixed race guy from so Brooklyn. Then it's a guy who, because when you're saying Brooklyn, I'm thinking Puerto Rican right off the bat anyway, though. And don't tell me anything about Brooklyn. I'm, I was born in New York. Okay. All my family's Brooklyn. He's a retired wrestler. He's a music producer. Okay. So it was more of a guy in the crowd heckling him. Uh, the N word being used, I don't even think is really a part of the story as much. Well, not, as, if, you're, not if the other guys. Off, off no, it. no, because then it's two guys yelling at each other. So you're like, whatever. It, it's, you know, because he was like, I'll break you off, you know, this and that. So it's like, okay, all right. They're, they're, he's, he's heckling him. And Montez is crumbling from a fan heckling him overall. So it's not the good old boys with the beards sitting in the front row. Hey, boy, you know, none, none of this is going on where I'd understand. Let's all go kill these guys in the crowd. But it's a guy with a sign and he got to him. He got to him so much that he disturbed the entire match. That's some and the guy was in front row where you're going to hear him two feet from you. He's in the crowd with a sign that says you're doo doo. And that rattled them that bad where they went back and forth and Montez could not control himself and had to continue on and disrupt everything. And break character. And that is yeah. that is bizarre where you'd just be like, why would you even look twice at the guy? Very, very lucky to, to not lose his job. Like that, he was, he, from, from my understanding is, he was taken away from Vince completely. And... That was the reason why he kept his shot. Because had he crossed paths with him at that point, like he would have been done. Because then if he does go attack, a, he attacks a fan, lawsuits are insane at this point. And it's like he went out of his way to get the guy. It turns into uh, the Detroit Pistons running into the crowd if he starts doing this. So I I, I get where Vince is coming from. Um and you're glad. I, I, you, you would think Montez wouldn't have done this if it was not a dark match, though. I think he would have controlled himself because he was out there on Raw and the sign was there during Raw while it was on TV because that's when I saw it. So he controlled himself then. So when it was time for Dark Match, he figures we're off the air. I could do whatever I want. Well, I guess you can't. It's not well, your company. Not in, not in 2021, you can't. Not with the social media and everything else. No, if this is the 80s, he'd be, he would have jumped in the crowd and just beat the out of the guy. So... Mm.